Now back to the historic flooding tonight. Neighbors are helping those in need. As Oxford and the surrounding towns clean up, a community is coming together. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live in Oxford, where that outreach is well underway now. Matt. Hi there, Irene and Mark. Tonight, tomorrow here at Quarry Walk in Oxford, handful of local restaurants providing free meals for first responders and their families. Earlier today here, it was a number of organizations, including the Red Cross, offering assistance and support to those impacted by the flooding. It's got sponges, masks, mops, brushes, gloves. From emergency cleanup kits to water, food, and basic hygiene items. How many people do you have in your family? The American Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and Team Inc., the local nonprofit supporting the lower Naugatuck Valley, teaming up to help those impacted by Sunday's devastating flooding. Just, you know, all sorts of emotions going through, just concern, anxiety, fears. Kyor Patel's family owns Spirits of 67, a liquor store still coated in mud, their inventory ruined. We had almost four feet of water in the store. Um, and then we just saw the, the little river became a big river. He and his brother, just two of the business owners and homeowners, to stop by Quarry Walk looking for help. I lost cars. I lost my house. I lost my business. You know, all in one day. Along with these basic supplies, the organization's also providing information and an opportunity to connect those in need with additional resources. We'll go out, do damage assessment of their property, help align them with agencies like FEMA. And while many were looking for help, Rabbi Shmaya Hecht showed up wanting to know just how he could help. Our hearts go out to those that suffered losses, and, um, you know, we're just trying to be able to see what we can do to help and volunteer and give back to those that need help. Neighbors lending a hand, helping others in a time of need. Oh, it means so much. It's, it's just great to see the community come together. We've had our, our overwhelming support of people wanting to come and help. Now, the Red Cross will be back here at this exact spot tomorrow from 10 to 3. They, along with team, say if you're looking to donate, they say the best way is monetarily with money. They say that way they can get the most to those folks in need right away. Of course, we've got a link on the WFSB app. We're live at the Mobile Newsroom in Oxford. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.